mysticism and brutality now I don't really want to start going over all of the brutality all at once it might come out as we go through obviously what we're interested in, in is mysticism but first I must point out you know major irritation is the brutality of atheism atheism is just a denial and it's the current dogma we have this one life and that's the end of it so they will dismiss this out of hand so for all the atheists here is the simple thing this is the structure of your mind in three triangles three triangles and these triangles basically are three bodies so inside this body there's another body and inside that body there's another body so it, there's the physical body there's the astral body the dream body the genie and there is the angel body you know the um, the body of light the solar angel so obviously this is like a Russian the Russian doll theory that we have got these three bodies you know one inside the other but let me go back so we can integrate it because mysticism is about you know controlling our imagination and understanding the structure of the imagination and this is it this is the structure of our nature and these are the ten dimensions we have the quantum level the level of the angel we have the relativity level the level of the genie the jinn and then there's the the say gravity level the level of the physical body now the first thing I must say is that we've all been brutalized and being brutalized is the main issue the education system does not educate children it brutalizes them the prisons do not rehabilitate people it brutalizes them the response to the riots has not been to heal to open hearts and arms and hands it has been to brutalize to, pr to put stupid children in prison for long term which can only radicalize them this is the issue how do we treat the underclass how do we treat the youth how do we stop the system brutalizing us so that we can develop ourselves mystically and understand ourselves and be ourselves and have a happy functioning community so here we have the base level the level of gravity remember this is the nine is like a G for the gravity the clockwise spiral clockwise spiral which is our posture gravity our position the world and here we have the Widdish in spiral which is the pressure goes round anticlockwise it's an ascent in top it goes round anticlockwise and goes up it's pressure and that is related to touch to surface tension and that's a pressure what this is creating a pressure map and that pressure map has got edges and corners which gives the shapes and this is the seven the zigzag in top tick the pattern in our minds the, the, which would be the eighth eighth dimension if you count them but, but it, you know it's easier to stick to the original numbers the the point the line the surface the space time the vision the observer the touch the taste the heat and and the posture but if you think 
if you think of it. This is a physical body. This is the physical body, the contact senses, you know, our sense of touch, you know, our surface tension, our sense of taste, the contact with shapes. So our object relations, re identifying shapes, your consumerism. And there we have the posture, our own, if you like, posture. Because every posture, it can either be a position for martial arts or it can be a position to do some work in, can't it? You know, some monotonous work, you know, threshing or something. So this is the physical. So we're brutalized into the physical. We're brutalized into the physical. To treated as slaves, so we, we aren't allowed to develop ourselves spiritually or mystically, so mysticism has been suppressed. And this is what's so annoying, is so-called enlightened agnostics are also wanting to brutalize us and dismiss mysticism. Because these are contact senses, touch, taste and the posture, in other words our physical body. But within that we have an astral body, a dream body that leaves the body in sleep you know, and at death. And this body is to do with the distant senses, smell, hearing and heat. These are distant senses, if you like, understand the distant senses, relativity, you know, the theory of relativity, general relativity, relativity, the distant senses, the astral body. We can astral travel in our in consciousness. We can dream. We can astrally project. We we can appear at other places and times. This is this dimension, the dimension of relativity of our minds, of you know our potential, mystically. The genie. The spirit the jinn. This is why, you know, the Muslims, obviously the Muslims and the Christians are both worn terribly. You know, the Christians would say the genie was a demon. The uh, Muslim would say the jinn was a demon. But it's the own, it's your own self. It's your own creative artistic self. This is why they suppress, you know, art and free drama. Because it's the expression of the self. You don't want charismatic leaders emerging with some consciousness of their you know, their destiny beyond spa in space and time. You want everyone tied down in slavery physically. You know, what can I touch? What can I taste? You know, what position can I adopt? And so these are the distant senses, the smell. And smell is a distance. Elephants are very good at that. You know, geography is smell mapping. We can smell at a distance, hearing. Really, to go back to technicalities, th this is a wave. The endurance of the wave creates sound. The endurance of the wave in the energy creates sound. And that is hearing, and then heat. And this is our astral life, our dream life. The dream life, just as this was our, our material world, you know, of consumption and catalogues and and working so this level is our our plan over time our schedule you know the balance of our life you know our, our relationships you know how we spend our time where we've got to come and go and and how we deal with the moment you know how we are dancing how we're moving our energy how conscious we are you know, of of the energy, because obviously everything's coming from the quantum level. It's here. It's you know eternal life. So we can focus our sense of direction and purpose. See, I suppose on a personal level, this this would be our love life. You see, we go off to different different times and different situations. You know, for, for an animal, it would be its. You know, it would be when it left its ordinary eating and feeding routine to go off in search of a mate, and then develop the next generation for this to go on. 
but then within that so the important thing to understand right is that when the physical body is still as in sleep or meditation so the astral body can be free to move now when the astral body is still when the astral body is still if you like when we're not following after our desires and we go on to the level, you know, of, of, of meditation. Of, this is the quantum level, the quantum level. Our intuition, which is reading the faces of those around us. Um, our conscience, which is movement, really, the movement, seeing the movement of things. And there's the rays, the vision, there's the eye, the vision the stars, seeing stars, the rays, this is the quantum level, seeing, if you like, the pulses of light, the quantum, quanta of light, the focus of attention, you're seeing something moving and watching it, it's your actual attention, you know, how can you control your attention, you know, try to calm, you're gazing at Sri Yantra, gazing at a candle but it's this attention and it's this looking it's this looking you see it's how we see things this is moving up to the angelic level whether we see good or bad whether we're destructive whether we are angelic whether we're angelic in seeing ourselves in our self-seeing this is the angelic level this is the level of attention, the level of meditation, the level of the attention, the flowing attention. And that attention, that angelic attention can suddenly be stopped. And when it's stopped, we go up to the fourth the star child the gnosis the July the holy seed the uncreated self the pearl of great price the little man our real self the uncreated self above us and behind us See, process of stillness from the stillness of the physical body, we free the astral body. From the stillness of the astral body, we free the body of light. From the stillness of the body of light, we realize the jewel, the jewel, gnosis, instant enlightenment. The Holy Seed.